Hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. This is Chaos Blue, and let's do stuff. Uh, but first, as you might guess from my current position, I have already done some stuff. Uh, namely, I got Vincent. Not, not Yuffie. I got Vincent's level three limit break. Hell Masker. Um, which I'm pretty sure is like a. Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a Jason mo type monster. Like, Galleon Beast is a fire werewolf. Death Gigas is a lightning Frankenstein monster. I'm pretty sure Hellmasker is like a Jason monster with a hockey mask and a chainsaw. Uh, and in any case. Uh, no, I've already said it's level 3. In any case, we don't actually really care because now. Now. We can unlock. Cloud doesn't, Cloud doesn't really care. And Yuffie is totally clueless. But it doesn't matter. Because Vincent. I guess I'm a little less human? Wow, okay, that's a little bit grim. But also, achievement get! Yeah. So that's cool. Not in there. The power of chaos! Uh, yeah. Chaos is just really good. And on that note, I think it goes without saying that we're ditching Vincent again. Uh, yeah, no, I actually have good reason to want Sid for this part. Did I remember to take the accessory off of Vincent? Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Anyway! We only have one place to go now. Well, actually, in fairness, we have enough. No, no, we really don't have enough money. I was gonna say something about the Chocobo Master doing more Chocobo breeding, but no. Until we master a materia we can actually sell, that is not happening. Uh, I digress. Oh, hey, Learner Pilot, level 9. He has ranked up a few times. In any, in any case, as I was saying, on to our next destination. There's only one place to get for us to go from here. Uh, wait a second. Where the hell does this cave go? Um... This goes... Okay, that's the cave that connects to the back end of North Coral. I suppose. Well, North Coral is right here, so it must be. Okay. Okay, then. I know where that cave go. this cave goes, but we can't land here anyway, so it is largely irrelevant. Uh, I, I, I digress. Again! Let's go to Rocket Town. Because space! Wait. Where have I heard this music before? Um, this was playing when Cloud was in the hospital. Good, good question. Can you tell me? Evidently not. The Shinra is serious about launching that piece of crap rocket, but why now? Wouldn't that, like, destroy Rocket Town? I mean, I'm sure Shinra doesn't care, but... You don't say. Hmm. I feel like Sid should be asking that. Anyway. Let's... Okay, that rocket is... I'm pretty sure it's still rusty, because I don't think it was green before, but in fairness, it might have just been painted that way. Although, the... Br it is at least... It is at the very least very dirty. Because... Look. Look. It's clearly on an angle. Okay, so, even if the town were somehow not destroyed by this rocket blasting off, you guys would definitely be killed. Anyway, uh, let's go deal with this. Hola! Yes, but... 
I suppose that's us. I mean, technically speaking, uh, actually no, the only one who's a terrorist here is Cloud. He is 100% an eco-terrorist, though, so can't even deny that. If only by association with Barrett. But no, Cloud and Yuffie, I don't think I would call them terrorists. Yeah, yeah, definitely not terrorists. They're both thieves. Um... But they, but they have not blown up any, any energy reactors. Neither of them has. In fact, I haven't heard their opinion on the matter one way or the other. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they are probably not pro-exploding reactor. Probably. These guys are, like, laughably weak. It's odd that the blue soldiers are red and the red soldier is blue. Um, yeah. Yeah, th that one is just a little bit weird. But they're basically powerless to stop me, so... It doesn't really matter. Hmm, actually, come to think of it, Cloud deals around 1400 damage, and that was more than sufficient to one shot. Yeah, and that's more than. They, those red soldiers have a maximum of 1400 HP, I would say. Probably less. That's, that's really no sweat at all at this point in the game. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder why they're even bothering having you fight them. Sid wants to, Sid wants to know as well what the, the hell they're doing with his... Yeah. Sid takes his rocket person. Before we climb this ladder, uh, how about I heal, uh, you and do that? Okay. Maybe if he wasn't the best choice for that. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. For that matter, the real sad part is the, Shin is the Shinra soldiers aren't even good for AP. It's really kind of lame. Hi, Rude! I didn't bring Tifa with me. So, you know, sorry about that. But, hmm, I'm gonna need to play this one carefully. Because I want to steal Rude's thing. But, well, I still have problems with this. Okay, I get it. You don't like the... Okay, less than 1300 HP. But, okay, they have 1300 HP. Can you actually just, uh... No, you need to... Thank you. Thank you, Yuffie. Th this is going to be a little bit tricky, just because I don't want to kill him before I've stolen his... Rare excess- there we go. We did it! Yay! Okay. Now let's kill him. Yeah, like that. And he's dead. Wow, what a pushover. Actually, difficulty-wise, the game probably intends you to come to Rocket Town before you go into the Sunny and Galenka. So... The route that we fought on the sea underwater seaplane was probably stronger than the route we just fought now. Uh, anyway. He certainly had tougher company. Next time we'll bring Tifa. Right. Hello. Yeah, he was here. And then we took care of him. Well, I commend your loyalty, but not your wisdom. 
Well, let's try this, I guess. Nothing to steal. Okay. And now you're dead. And again, the red suit is a blue cyborg. Figure that one out. At least the cyborg is worth it. Oh, decent amount of AP. Don't worry. We didn't- I didn't kill you. This time. Right. Uh, you're actually in my way. Uh, there we go. Incidentally, I highly recommend you save immediately before coming into Rocket Town, which, I mean, I basically did. I have like a two minute flight there, but whatever. Uh... Hmm. Just wanna- what? Oh, it's Sid's- it's Sid's launch crew! Huh. I mean, honestly, that's not a terrible plan. It's not really a good plan, but it's not a terrible one. How is the rocket? Pretty much okay. Nice. And you see, this is why you have to bring Sid with you. There is just, it is simply unacceptable to not bring Sid with you. I mean, it is all about his freaking rocket, after all. In fact, the game might even force you to bring him with you. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, it, it didn't force me, but I sort of just put him in charge anyway. Um... Huh. Okie dokie, then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, collecting the huge materials is honestly probably not the best plan for beating Sephiroth. For either you or Shinra, I've said this before, but frankly, they're blowing up the... Them trying to blow up the me meteor with a rocket loaded with huge materia, while most likely not going... While not likely to be successful, is... All the same, does nothing to actually interfere with our plan to stop Sephiroth, such as it is. I mean, let's be honest, we don't really have a plan. It's sort of just hope things work out for us. Uh, and stop Shinra from causing too much collateral damage. Like, seriously, things would be going so much better if, if Shinra and these assholes would actually work with each other. I guess in fairness, Shinra's is run by a bunch of people who are even bigger assholes than these assholes. So there you go, I suppose. That, uh, yeah. Sid doesn't give a rat's ass. Oh, except he does have a slight bias towards the science. He makes a compelling point. He can't fly with magic. That too. Mm hmm. I mean, it's 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 hard to disagree with you, Sid. I think you. Uh, hmm. Plus, also, I think it's fair to say that he wants to go into space. It's Palmer. That fucking bastard. <sighs> well, you might have had a point, Sid. Before th before that asshole got involved. Uh yeah. The most incompetent of the bunch. Quite possibly. Well, actually, that's not really... That's not entirely fair. I mean, he has sort of had his... He sort of had... He has sort of had the ground cut out from under him. By the meddling of... Everyone else. Pretty much. 
I mean, he is no doubt incompetent, but it's hard. It's unfair to say he's more incompetent than Scarlet or Hedgar. Also, space. And it was on an angle. Go figure. Cool. Very cool. Well, I mean, I think it, I don't, I'm not sure you're really in space quite yet, but you, you know, I'll, I'll just keep that to myself. Well, it's best to let him have this, I think. Okie dokie then. Sid always makes the well. I mean, you are gonna, going to crash a thing into meteor, but you yourself are not going to crash into meteor. That's that's my takeaway. Uh, yeah, that is really strangely proactive of you, considering this thing has been grounded for the last twenty years. Um, but you know, I'll take it. Okay. Sounds good. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do that then. I mean, contrary to what I was just saying a minute ago about us taking the huge material basically serving no purpose, I still want it. Yeah. No, I'm with you, Sid. If you want to go to space, you have damn well earned it by this point. It's structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from the control panel. Yep. So here's how this works. It's a four-digit code, and you're supposed to play a guessing game to get it. However, as far as I know, this code is always the same. Which which I'm hoping is the case here, because I have it written down. Um, because if you get this wrong too many times, you're just locked out. And then you need to replay the last 20 minutes that I just did. So, yeah. Well... Let's be, let's be fair and call it 15 if you're dicking around a little less than me, but still. Right, and it's like it's like a, a mastermind or password, either or, they're the same game, uh, where it tells you, I don't remember the details of how it tells you, but it tells you in to some regard uh, how correct your code is, but you still only get so many guesses. That one, that one, that one, that one. It worked! Okay, incidentally, it is circle, square, x, x. Or possibly, or possibly x, square, circle, circle, depending on what your controller layout is, because there's a few different ones. Anyway, we did it. Yay! Damn straight. I mean, it's not impossible. There aren't that many combinations. There's only, uh, 4, 16. There's only 128 combinations. Uh, but having said that, I did have a, I did actually know what. Sorry, 256 combinations. Uh, anyway. We did it! Yay! Now, let's GTFO. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, this is the door to space. Probably shouldn't go that way. Oh, okay, that looks like it's going to explode. Hmm. So, so, I'm pretty sure... That was like an air tank, right? Damn straight! Hmm. No, actually, I'm sort of... Hmm. Oh, so this was like the tank that she Sheba was fixing. Shara. Sheba. Sheila. Okay, that's definitely supposed to be Sheila. I mean, come... Seriously? How do you get that wrong? Anyway. Oh, hey, look, it's Sheila. Yep, she was on the rocket. Again. Oh, and with the power of three people, I bet you we, we can lift the air tank. Thus saving Sid's life. And allowing the rest of us to save our own. I hope this fits four people. Does it? You're asking this now? I said. Well, we're definitely in space. Or at least the upper atmosphere. No, it's probably space. So long, Shinra number 26. You served us well. Good thing they got the heat shielding right on that escape pod. Oi. In fairness, I would say that probably did a fair amount of damage. But the meteor is fracking huge. I mean, it's more more like a moon, really. That's how big it is. Oh yeah, that looks it did actually do some damage. Good on you. But there's something, like, really weird going on with that core there, which is just not happening. Just not penetrating. Plus, also, again, the thing, that thing has got to be the size of the freaking moon. Or close to it. It is at least in the same general scale. It's really big, is what I'm getting at. Oh, and there's Mr. 300 years old. You know, though, I cannot help but wonder if it might would have been more successful had they actually loaded any of the huge materia into it. Uh, although probably not. I've said this before, but the huge even if the huge materia has the power of a hundred regular materia, we personally probably have around a hundred regular materia. We could certainly get that many. 
ourselves. It's just... The, the math just doesn't add up. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Are you up to something? Cause Bear's actually cause Bear's actually right. This does seem oddly optimistic for Sid. Mm-hmm. Oh. What about the ocean? Okay, well, that's pretty fatalist of you. Okay. Tell us, Sid. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair assessment of what Sephiroth is doing, actually. Oh? Hmm. That's an interesting take on things. So, so, so what's the actual plan? You have no idea, do you? <sighs> well, it was a good speech right up to that last part, Sid. I give you... a solid 80%. What is it, Red? Oh, it's the screaming again. Yep. Okay then, I guess I guess we'll go to Co Cosmo Canyon next. And wow, that last ten minutes just came out of nowhere. Uh, right. I think I'm gonna stop here. Join me next time when we go to Cosmo Canyon, I guess. Uh... Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day. Bye!